All right. Well, I know it's been a while. Uh, just to start this off, the very first take we had um, was no good. Some body didn't know how to work the sound on his own computer. Mm -hmm. uh, not me. Um, so, we are back. Uh, it's been about, I think, two months or so now, I think. Um, been a while. We're going to just kind of sum this up since we already did it once. Um, mm -hmm. Basically, we're back. We're going to try to do this a lot more often. Both of us were busy. He's been doing music. Uh, we were both sick for about two weeks. I've been studying for my uh, flight instructor uh, exam coming up here, and we... So we've just been kind of busy. Uh, definitely been tasting beers, just haven't been doing this sort of thing with it. So uh, we're gonna we're gonna try to do this more often. Uh, I'm I'm hoping for at least like once a week. Uh, now we're actually gonna do two coming up here. Um, all Oktoberfest beers on one of them, and all uh, pumpkin beers for the season on one of them. So check wait for that and check that out. It should be probably a couple a week or two here. Um, uh, let's see what else uh, should I touch on there. Um, okay, yes. Uh, our rating system, we're going to kind of switch that around a little bit. We're just going to go with percentages as opposed to letter grades from now on. It just, it makes it not only more precise, it makes it easier to, um, it, it doesn't give that A minus, B plus sort of thing where an A minus can sound worse than a B plus and vice versa. So, uh, not really vice versa, actually, why did I say that? Doesn't matter. <laughs> not vice versa. I don't think a B, <laughs> Okay. <laughs> <laughs> because an A minus is better than a B plus, so that's not. <laughs> Anyways, um, what we've got tonight is uh, our first beer of the night. Uh, last time we tried the Trappist Ockel, uh, the blonde, the uh, uh, their blonde ale. This one is their brown ale, or their brun beer. Um, this is available, uh, not actually in the state of Virginia, which is where we are. Uh, it is available in Washington D.C. The only English is the government warning here that is mandated by the government. Other than that, that's it. 8% alcohol by volume. We gave it a taste test earlier. Um, I'll go ahead and do it again to try to relive some of that. Um, the smell is good. The smell actually uh, is better than the taste. Um, it, it has a fair amount of flavor, but it's not got an aftertaste kind of metallic. Uh, it's got a good bit of flavor, but it's kind of thinner in comparison to some of the other uh, ales of this style. It's actually kind of more like a uh, a double than anything, and it, it may be a double at 8% alcohol, but uh, it, it just doesn't seem like it has enough flavor for what it is. Um, I gave it an 85%. He gave it a 75%. Uh, that was the roundup of that. It is, our rating system, one thing we're trying to do too is be more, obviously we're always objective here, but we're trying to be a little more, uh, we want to get it to where, basically, with, I don't want to be lenient on any beer. I'm not trying to be. We're, what we're beer lovers here, we like beer, and so, you know, I, while I wouldn't give Miller Lite a very high rating, I mean, it would probably get about an F, but I would still drink it. It's just just one of those things. If you're a beer lover, you love beer, so it's kind of um, hard to rate something terrible. Uh, it's not hard, it's hard to rate everything good, too. But all the beers we're trying are good, uh, and we want to try them for a reason, not just because they're there. Uh, we, we, you know, usually uh, hear about them and want to read, or want, want to taste them. So, there's that. Um, but we're going to try to be a little harder on our ratings and rate some stuff that you normally wouldn't expect. Miller High Life uh, may make an appearance here soon. Who knows? Uh, another thing we're doing um, is pairing perfectly with this sort of Belgian beers is some nice... This is French cheese. Belgian cheese is great, too. Brewery Chimay makes really, really good cheese. This is one called uh, Saint Albrey. Very good. Rind-washed cheese. Very good with crackers. He tasted it. It smells... It does smell, but it tastes actually really good. Uh, any thoughts on, any comments on the cheese, the beer, any of that? No, nah, I mean, cheese on a cracker was pretty good, as long as you don't smell it. And the beer, for the price, I wouldn't recommend, because there's plenty better of the style. Yeah, now that is true. For the price, plenty better of the style. Um, we'll be reviewing many of those. Uh, but yeah, plenty better of the style for, for the price. Um, that pretty much sums that one up. Good beer. 
uh, probably not worth the money, but good beer. Um, some that are better worth the money that I could suggest would be something like a Rochefort 8, a Chimay Grand Reserve, or the Blue Label, and uh, a St. Bernard Top 12, actually, um, even though all those are high, higher in alcohol and, and all that. They're generally com comparably priced and have more of a flavor in a body. So that's that. 85%, 75%. All righty. And then you're going to what? Give them the Tonight Show. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. We got some great guests for you tonight. Yeah, there you go. The so Midas Touch is here. <laughs> what else? So stick around. We'll be right what back. What else we have? I don't know, but... So stick around. We'll, we'll be, be right, right back. back. <laughs> See, he did that in the beginning, so I thought it was fun. I just... <laughs>